Hello and welcome back to music class. Today what we are going to be talking about is the idea of putting our notes together. So these are all notes that we've been learning about and now that we have been learning about them and now that we know their names and now that we know how many beats they get, we can start to put them together and this is where music gets really really fun because this is when we can start creating our own rhythms right? Rhythm is a word we've been talking about and as we've talked about, rhythm is when you take different notes or different beats and you squish them all together. So that's what we're going to be doing today. And this can be something that's kind of tricky for some people and that's okay, but we'll do it a lot this year and hopefully by the end of the year it'll start to make more sense. So again we have mama donut the whole note, baby donut the half note, plum the quarter note, and our twin cherries the eighth note. So let's just start really, really simple, okay? I'm going to write, so I'm going to put some of the notes together on the board, and then we're going to figure out what that sounds like, okay? So here we have what kind of notes? We have four, four quarter notes. Very good. You guessed four quarter notes? Very good. And we've already talked about how each quarter note gets one beat, which would mean that we would just have one, two, three, four. We have four quarter notes all in a row. Take a moment to guess if we were to clap this out, what would it sound like? It would sound like this. We'd go one, two, three, four, right? Because we just have four quarter notes all in a row. So we'd have one, two, three, four. Try it one more time with me. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four. Very good. Another way to do this, to remember this, if you wanted to, is you could say plum, because plum would be a good thing to say. You could go, instead of saying one, two, three, four, you could say plum, 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 plum want. That would make it easier. So now I'm going to write another rhythm on the board and I'm going to use more than one kind of note, okay? This is when it starts to get really fun. So here we have our second rhythm. This is another rhythm because I just put some of the notes together to make a rhythm. So here we have our second rhythm and can you tell what changed? Can you tell what changed from the last one? I, I took out the last quarter note and I added two eighth notes, okay? So now we have one, two, three, and then you don't have to worry too much about this yet, but we would just call this four and, okay? Don't worry too much about the counting for now. But can you take a moment to maybe guess what this is gonna sound like? This is where it starts to get a little tricky. So how this is gonna sound it's going to sound like this, and I'm going to use the names. I'm going to use plum and cherry to help us out here, okay? So we have the plum, 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 cherry, okay? Because these are two cherry eighth notes. So I'm going to clap it like this. Plum, 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 cherry, okay? Because I have a plum, a plum, a plum, and then two cherries. So try that with me. Ready? Go. Plum, 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 cherry. One more time. Ready? Go. Plum, 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 cherry. Okay? Does that make sense? I am going to do it differently now. Okay? Here we have a new rhythm. And can you tell what changed from the last one? I added two more eighth notes over here. So I erased one of the quarter notes and I put in two eighth notes. Okay? And again, don't worry too much about the counting. It's just kind of there to hopefully help you in the future. So here we have plum, cherry, plum, cherry, okay? So this is what it's gonna sound like. Plum, cherry, plum, cherry, right? Because we have plum, here I'll do it with my mind. We have plum, cherry, plum, cherry, okay? Does that make sense? 
do it with me one more time. Ready? Go. Plum, cherry, plum, cherry. Very good. I'm sure you did wonderful. Okay, I have one last rhythm for you today, okay? And let's think, what kind of notes did I use here to make our rhythm? I used a quarter note, another quarter note, and then what kind of note? A half note. Very good. So, this is how we would write it out. And we would go one, two for our next quarter note, and then we'd have three, four. Don't worry too much about the counts again. So here we would have, this is what this would sound like, because we have plum, plum, and then we'd go half note. And if you remember, how do we clap a half note? Because a half note gets two beats, so we clap it like this. One, two. Remember, that's how we clap our half note. One, two. Just clap a half note with me really quick. Ready, go. One, two. Very good. So, if we were to clap this out, this is what it would sound like. We'd have plum, plum, half note. Right? Because we have to hold this one out. So try it with me. Ready? Go. Plum, plum, half note. Good. One more time. Ready? Go. Plum, plum, half note. Very good. Ladies and gentlemen, that is all the rhythms we will do today. I hope you enjoyed this, and this can kind of be tricky. You know, getting to know the notes, getting to know their names, and figuring out how to put them all together can kind of be tricky sometimes. But I'm sure you guys are doing great. And even if it doesn't quite make sense now, the more we talk about it this year, the more it will start to make sense. It's just important to really get to know our notes. So if you have any questions about this, or you want to do more practice with this, or you just want me to explain it a little bit differently, go ahead and reach out to me. I am happy to answer any and all questions. So I hope you had a good day in music class, and I will see you soon.